vast universe of React, selecting the right library combination is crucial. Before starting a project, ask yourself these two questions. What is the main goal of the project and how complex is the project? Depending on the answers, the correct library combination will vary. I will guide you how to choose the most widely used libraries based on your project's specific needs. Additionally, I'll share my recommended library combinations for common scenarios, ranging from complex interactive dashboards to simple blog websites. To create a highly interactive user interface for managing a complex flow of data, a state, and full control over the browser is required, stick to React and Vit. If you're aiming to build and sell friendly project like an e-commerce site or blog website where performance is crucial or where seamless interaction with the database is needed, opt for a framework. Astro and Gatsby are ideal for content-based websites, offering excellent developer experience and rapid development times. Next.js is the most versatile and future-proof option with amazing performance, though it may not be suitable for smaller applications. These tools also come with predefined ESLint configs, helping in creating a code base while avoiding common mistakes. Also, TypeScript is increasingly becoming a necessity. Mastering it is a wise investment for your career. Web styling evolves rapidly. Modern solutions include Tailwind CSS and CSS in JS libraries, like Emotion and Styled Components. CSS in JS libraries are suitable for complex and consistent UIs. If your app's UI lacks consistency and contains various styles with performance in mind, consider using Tailwind. Did you know that 90% of viewers are not subscribed? Just hit the subscribe and like buttons to see more videos like this. For complex single page applications with complex state and data flows, a global store for managing data and ensuring all parts of the application are aware of data changes is vital. Two key players are Zostin and Redux. Zostin offers a scalability and simplicity, making it suitable for simple to complex app needs with a simple learning curve. You can watch my full course on it on my channel. Redux Toolkit stands as the king of state management, providing top tier tooling for handling complex scenarios, though it comes with a steep learning curve and it might not be suitable for most of the projects. Communicating with the server can be challenging, requiring careful handling of loading states, errors, caching, and displaying up-to-date data. Server state management libraries are here to rescue. SWR is perfect for smaller projects due to its minimal learning curve. I have an amazing video on it, just check it out. Tansac Query, formerly known as React Query, can handle a small to complex applications needing advanced features like cache control and optimistic updates with amazing dev tools. I also have another video on for Tansac Query, just check it out. If you are already using Redux for set management, RTK Query is well suited for existing Redux applications where tight integration between data fetching and state management is desired. However, you can also use React Query or SWR if you are using Redux for state management. There is no conflict and they work together seamlessly. React Easy Router and React Router are popular choices for quick setup and wide usage. Tansac Router offers modern routing with type safety but may not be ideal for large scale applications due to its lower community support and reliability concerns. Handling forms is essential. Key players include Formic and React Hook Form. React Hook Form leverages hooks, offering performance benefits and straightforward dev tools. Formic excels in complex scenarios but has a steeper learning curve and is less actively maintained. Complex forms need constant and real-time validation. Yup and Zod are leading libraries providing comprehensive validation for forms and server-side checks. Using UI component libraries can simplify the life of the developer significantly. Instead of reinventing the wheel, simply use these libraries and focus on more important aspects of your project, such as the flow of data. ShatCN offers full control for table users. If you choose CSS in JS solutions and desire more stable and consistent UI elements out of the box, consider using Material UI and Ant Design. Both are excellent and offer the most comprehensive UI component catalogs. Material UI also includes chart and data grid libraries, while Ant Design components are better suited for enterprise level admin dashboards. Additionally, if you wish to create your own components from scratch but prefer not to handle accessibility or the logic behind components, consider using headless components, libraries like Headless UI or Radix UI. These allow you to focus solely on styling your components without worrying about their states or logic. Just check whether the icons list meets your needs, then install the one you desire. The Frame Emotion is the most used library which has the most active community where you can find numerous tutorials available everywhere. Additionally, for high performance 2D vector style animations, Lottie is the primary choice. Furthermore, for 3D integration, there is a React 3JS library. The most React 
style solution is ReCharts, which offers an amazing API for interacting with charts. React Chart.js2 is another fantastic library for charts, providing excellent control over the charts, but requiring significant coding. Additionally, if you have chosen Material UI for your UI components library, Material UI provides a decent charts library, although it's only suitable for very simple charts. If you want the best grid in the world, AG Grid is undoubtedly the choice, but bear in mind that it may not be suitable for most projects due to the complexity it introduces. MUI offers a great data grid with essential features that meet your expectations from a grid. If you desire full control over styles, consider using time stack table, which provides core functionalities and leaves you to handle the styling entirely. This is a headless table giving you full control and power over the appearance. For authentication, use AuthJS formerly known as NextAuth, Swiper to create robust sliders, React use for many useful hooks. And now for the recommended combinations. For simple client-side apps, I'm going to recommend you React Easy Router, Zosten, SWR, React Hook Form, Tailwind, Shatsian, Lucid Icons, and Shatsian Tables. For more complex enterprise scenarios, React Router, Zosten, Tanzac Query, React Hook Form, Zod, Emotion, Material UI, Material UI Icons, Frame Emotion, Richard, Material UI Data Grid. For simple performance and so on content-based apps, Astro, Tailwind, Shatsian, and Lucid Icons. For complex full-stack server-side projects, Next.js, Tanzac Query, Zostend, React Hook Form, Zod, Tailwind CSS, Shatsian, Lucid Icons, Frame Emotion, and Shatsian Table. If you want to add anything else to these combinations, just put a comment down below. If you want to win in the React industry, just pay attention to what you pick as libraries and packages. Also, if you found this video helpful, just don't forget to like and subscribe.